Hello, and thanks for turning in. Uh, we are going to be reviewing the uh, Punch Punch Cab. Uh, they come in boxes of 50. They're a Cuban. And they uh, go for about 515 bucks a box of 50. So these work out to a little over $10 a stick. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and fire these up. Well, we're going to smell them first and see what we think. I'm getting hints of cedar, oak, like it, this taste smells like my miniature cedar chest, earth notes, dark chocolate, and hay. Wow, you're picking up a lot. <laughs> this is a complex cigar. She must have a really good sniffer because uh, all I'm picking up is essentially cedar notes. And maybe some mild earthy smells. And it doesn't seem to be stronger on the foot or on the uh, head. So, let's get these fired up. They are uh, 5.7, I believe, by 48 or 49. Basically, they're a short Churchill. Well, they're closer to a Toro. Hmm. Alright, again I got that slightly buttery taste that I got in another cigar. I think it was the Romeo we tried. It, it's uh, a, kind of a smooth, creamy, at least so far on the first puff with uh, the room note is, note is rather nice too. Um, but there's some flavors in here I'm not sure of. Picking and up butteriness too, yes. Hmm. Definitely some wood in there. Uh, very likely cedar. The main things I'm picking up is a buttery cedar. That, that's the best I can describe it so far, but I'm really enjoying this little flavor here. Um, Rita, what do you, you think? I'm picking up creamy butteriness, something that's really good. Please excuse me, I was looking up some... Uh, can I see that green thing? Uh, green it's lighter. It's called a lighter. Anyways, uh, I find it to be a unique flavor yet again. i got to open this thing. Hmm. I'm really hoping this comes out to be a very good cigar. Oh, I do not have my uh, uh, phone with me. We're starting at 315. All right, so well, I will it's put been this, fired up for two minutes, roughly. So. I will turn on my clock and my stopwatch. There we go. First of all, I gotta say this thing is like. A creamy, buttery bomb, basically. Just as heavenly. It might not be a Connecticut wrapper, but I prefer Connecticut wrappers. I didn't you know. read anything about the descriptions of this. Uh, the main thing I wanted to make sure of is that we had the right one while reviewing this. Because the label, if you see, is very indistinct. It just says Punch Habana Cuba. And there's multiple different sizes and stuff, and I want to make sure we had the right one. And oh. so this is the Punch Punch Cab. You can see right there, it says imported, and it says Habana. So I don't want any of our uh, friends or subscribers saying these are real Cubans. Oh, for all due purposes... Whenever anyone, no matter who they are, gets a Cuban cigar, there is a good chance that that's a knockoff. 
Uh, there are lots and lots of places. We had a very good friend of ours from uh, up north, uh, back near my home state of Ohio, who sent us uh, Monte Cristo number two, and it was certainly a knockoff because, well, we just recently got some more Monte Cristo number twos, and uh, they look nothing like the other one. Uh, it, it was obvious that it was a knockoff, and there was a few slight holes in it, which just kind of said something right away that that was wrong. And the stick was hard as a rock. Uh, these ones are much different. And so... Uh, Just so you know, I got one tear I was trying to fix. Without trying to sit my tongue this close to, uh, to it, which I would have been actually burnt because of it. So, but, yeah. And if you notice, I do roll my cigar when I smoke. And uh, I don't know if it helps or not, but for me, I always learned when my granddad was smoking cigars that if you don't do that, it'll burn unevenly. I don't know if that's an old wife's tale or not, but I don't have much problem with uneven burns uh, since I've been doing that. I mean, maybe a little bit, but uh, it could be no more or no less than anybody else either. Now you're having problems lighting that. What's your problem? It's out of gas, pretty it much. shouldn't be. Uh, okay, it's getting down there. Sometimes I forget to fill my lighters. I can light it and fix it for you. Oh, well, later. Right now I got this orange one that's, uh... Here. It doesn't need to be fixed right oh. now. I was just... See, I go to, to all that work and... I'm trying to fix only one little piece and it, it did fire it up to fix it, so... Oh, and we had a, a, a subscriber, I think a subscriber, who keeps wanting to see her smoke a very large cigar and be unable to light it with a lighter. Now, uh, we joked about the lighter thing and how she's actually half blind, no depth perception or anything, so it's very difficult for her. And she's actually not very good striking a lighter either, just even a regular lighter. Uh, she's good with matches, though. Uh, but for big cigars, what was that? A 10, a 10 inch by 18? 10 by 66. 10 by 66. So she has smoked a big cigar, too. Unfortunately, they burn way too long, make too much smoke, burn your eyes, and stink out the neighbors. And <laughs> we're not technically supposed to be smoking here, so, uh, we really don't want to smoke out the neighbors. <laughs> Um, I want to say something interesting for you all today. Talking about cigars for a minute. The guy who basically asked me to smoke a big cigar, I got a chuckle out of something. Let me see if it's around. Um, I just always think of that comment. It makes me laugh a little bit. Let's see. Uh, is this it? No, uh, that ain't oh, it either. Oh, you found a big cigar deal? Somewhere. Yeah, so I was going to make uh, say something, but it's... You can't find it. You can't find it, no. So. Ah. Oh, I know where it was. I think it was CI, everyone. Hold on a sec. Let me redo this. And I was thinking of taking my my, cre uh, my credit, right, everyone, uh, for my card. Because, you know, I build up good credit, and I'm good with paying the bill. But the weekly special is Kentucky Fire Cured Muots. Ooh, I like that. I was looking at the Mazo of 7x70s. I, I have not had one of those hickory smoked cigars in a while. Those are good. I was looking at the Mazo of 70s. They got the 7x60 Muots and the 6x60 Muots and the 5.0x60 uh, Muots. Yeah, okay. I was thinking of one of those large ring gauge cigars to smoke. This so far is very pleasant. The burn is almost absolutely perfect. It's like a razor. And um, uh, the flavors, it's still buttery, creamy, and um, just a slight amount of cedar. And there might be a pinch of pepper in there too, but not enough to really notice. It's like in the background. Um, very mild flavors for the most part, uh, kind of a mild to medium body. Uh, it's actually a stronger body than it is a flavor. 
I think, so far. Yes, yeah, so, um... What's Anyways, we should get to you at the, um, uh, end of the first third here. Yep. It's hop, skip, and a jump for you guys. Welcome back, everyone. We're on the first... We're into the second third now. Yes. Approaching halfway point. And, uh... You're like, compared to mine, same? Similar. Um, you're still a little ahead of me, but that's rare that you smoke faster than me. And it's happened like the last three of these that we've had, last three smokes. Anyways, I'm still picking up those buttery, creamy notes, which is nice to see it lingering so long. Usually tastes like that disappear by end of first third. If you look if at this, lucky. for example, it's got some thick, thick ash. It does have a very nice, kind of very whitish ash, uh, light, light gray. And it's got a nice little firm crispness to it. Uh, but not many, There, there's been really no burn issues. It's burning almost on a razor. So uh, far in the first third, it took us 32 and a half minutes, almost 33 minutes. Yeah, so this is probably going to be an hour and a half cigar, and for something less than 50 ring gauge, even though this is darn close, um, it's it's going to last a good long time, enough to actually enjoy it and appreciate it. Um, you know, um, so far this cigar is great, certainly great. So, but time will tell as we get into the final third. Uh, I think we can just go ahead and skip forward to the final third unless you got stuff to add. I have to agree with him. So far, it has been a great cigar. The butteriness just tastes, tastes like you're smoking a Connecticut. It's just a very heavenly cigar, you know. It smokes like a dream. And I have one little light prop with it, uh, one little teeny hangnail. But if you notice, it is smoking evenly. So... Um, I highly recommend, um, these cigars so far. Um, I do want to say I do want to get some Kentucky Fire New Watts, but he'd probably confiscate them all. Yeah, maybe. So, <laughs> look for the final third. Thank you. Welcome back to the final part of this Punch Havana Cuban cigar. Well, I'm going to say that that buttery, creamy flavor is kind of maybe even increased in flavor and become more enjoyable. And that's hard to say over the beginning, where the beginning was very enjoyable already. So, um, I like the fact that the cigar is not dissipated in flavor in any way. It's maintained those flavors that usually get lost within a cigar. Uh, this, this cigar, to me, is fantastic and maybe one of the top Cubans I've smoked and I've smoked uh, four now so uh, for but this is also the cheapest of them I smoked in an $11 stick roughly and um, if I could get a hold of these on a daily basis I would definitely spend the money for them heck the, these would actually probably put me in the poor house because um, I shouldn't be buying $10 sticks, and I think that these would make me buy $10 sticks. So I'm going to give this uh, a 10 out of 10. Um, beautiful cigar. Uh, everything about it is almost flawless. How, we're about an hour and 15 minutes in. And Let me see. Uh, Rita's been smoking faster than me. Hour and 15 minutes in. Yep. So, Rita's been smoking faster than me, and I'd say mine's got another good 20 minutes on it. Rita's probably has 10 to 15 the way she's going. So, uh, I'd say that this is a good hour and a half long smoke. Um, just a beautiful cigar. I find it has good thick ash. Construction was flawless, except for one part where I had a tear, but that burned up. So, um... Uh, I also found this to be an excellent cigar, and if I had the money, I would be buying these every time, too. If I was a millionaire, I'd find a way to smoke these. 
every day. These are just been a very good cigar. I can only compare this cigar to my favorite Cuban, which is the Siglo 6 by Cohiba. But this is a, fa uh, a nice, nice cigar. Um, it's creamy butteriness. It's tapering off a bit. And it's got a light pepper flavor. And uh, it, in my opinion... Sorry about this. I was just seeing how come it's a little nippy in here for 80 degrees. So, uh, anyways, the other thing I wanted to say about this cigar, besides being uh, the creamy butteriness is tapering a bit, is uh, the uh, the um, uh, like I said, there's pepper on the back of my throat. Produces a lot of smoke. It is worth uh, the eleven dollars. It is also, in my opinion, uh, a ten out of ten, or a hundred if you want to get technical. <laughs> what? This is your favorite cigar ever? <laughs> no, the Romeo and Juliet Anniversario, which I should go and use the credit card and buy a five pack for myself. <laughs> Stop that! Yeah. No. I need to buy a box in April, which are about $242 a box for 28 I, I can't say this is my favorite cigar, but it's definitely in my favorite cigars. Um, I just couldn't tell you where because, well... <laughs> I just want to say in this review... Each one I like for a different reason. I do want to say to uh, the persons or persons that sent us the review... I want to highly thank you again because so far these cigars are really amazing in flavor. So I hope one day we can sample some more if they want to send us some more because nah. these are just really cool. You know, I said if and if they will. Well, we plan to send them some when we can afford to or have some extras. Um, I will say one thing about this cigar um, also is I do not like punch cigars. I have never liked any punch cigars I have smoked. Uh, yeah, the punch signature wasn't bad. But um, I can see very clearly the difference between Cuban punches and uh, punches. Um, and uh, which are gen general cigar, I think? I think it's general or Altatus. Uh, yeah, it's one of the two. I forgot who bought up all those names. Uh, it's the same company who bought all of them up. Um the same ones who make Cohibas, Partagas, Romeo, Juliet's, Monte Cristo's. I think Romeo's and Romeo's and H. Upman's and uh, Romeo's, H. Upman's and Monte Cristo's are all Tatus. Then it's probably all Tatus. So, anyways, um, this this cigar I wouldn't even classify with other punches. This is its own beast and. The, those who bought up the name and tried to continue making punches uh, for the U.S., um, they don't do a good job of capturing the flavor of the Exactly. Punch. I do like the punch sampler packs I had. I also like the punch signature, but, uh, you know, the, those aren't bad. But as Aaron said, this is a different beast altogether. So if you have a chance to come across a Cuban punch, give it a try. Uh, you won't you, be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. It is worth the $11 price tag if you can come across one. And they might go as much as 13 or 14 As I said, a box is 500 some, and we can only find them for sale by box. Yeah, 515 So we can only find them for sale by the box uh, 50 count. And so we estimated what their cost per stick would be. Which is like, you know, ten bucks, something like that. But yeah, if you find these single stick and you got a chance to buy one and it's not gonna break the bank, by you know, by all means, give it a try. It's certainly worth it, especially if you're a fan of punches. You'll notice a big difference real quick uh, that it just isn't like what you're used to. Um, this ain't your granddad smoke th either. This is. By far the first Cuban I've ever had where I can sit there and actually say this cigar does not match up to the blends that we have here in America. Um, you know, the the Siglos was very close to other Cohibas in flavor. Uh, so that was okay. 
the uh, Romeo we had was actually better than most Romeos, but this this is like Talking you know about you got the one over here and then the other one over there. They're not close. Talking um, about Romeos for a minute, I was thinking of getting the House of Montague or the House of uh, Capulet. So, anyways. So, Please add and subscribe if you like. Please we post both give it a 10. Feedback, suggestion, thank you. And may God bless you all. Smoke them if you got them.